I'm getting ready right now to go to a photo shoot for my merch launch and it feels so weird saying that out loud because I've been keeping this a secret for so long literally since 2021 and I'm so excited to finally like make this video and take you guys along the process of it and I'm also going to the hair salon to get my hair done because I am taking the photos for the promotion I have to leave in basically like 10 minutes so I'm gonna rush and I'll see you guys when I'm done getting ready so this is my final makeup and I'm done getting ready I have my tote with me because I have to bring like a lot of stuff to the photo shoot place I have a whole other bag with like props and the actual merch that I'm gonna wear in the photos now I'm gonna head to the hair salon So we're at the photo shoot place. She literally looks like the end of K-pop concerts when they come out in the sweater with the skirt. My sister's helping me with the lashes. Push your apple. So I just finished with the photo shoot at the studio and I still have to look through the pictures but for now we're gonna go get dinner. since I've actually sat down and talked to you guys in front of a camera like this. I feel like in my vlogs, I never really get to like sit down and genuinely talk to you guys, but I do have a lot of things to update you guys on. So first, I can finally announce that I am launching merch, and this is so weird to say out loud because I've been keeping this a secret for so long. I did hint at it a few times in my videos and on my Instagram stories, but I can finally tell you guys that I have my own merch. As you saw the whole process of like the photo shoot for the promo, but right now I'm gonna take you guys along the process of like how I came up with the merch. Before I get into that, I'm gonna show you guys the merch pieces that are available for you to purchase. So there are three different types of hoodies and I'm wearing one right now. This is what it looks like. It says two hearts like this and there's a heart symbol there. And then my favorite part is the back, which looks like this. And I'm so obsessed with it. The color scheme for this one is white and pink. I can't get over how cute the back is. It says two hearts inside a heart and then it also says established 2022 my goal for my merch was to make it really minimalistic and simple and to make it something that anyone could wear that's also really trendy the next hoodie is this one and the color scheme is gray and blue and then here is the back 
also love how this one looks and then for the last version i have this black one it looks like this and the color scheme is black and cream the words are in cream it looks a bit yellow but and then this is what the back looks like my mom said that this is her personal favorite because it's really bold and it just stands out and then if you want something else other than a hoodie i also have tote bags and they are adorable So I was able to make this merch collection with Fanjoy and all the merch is designed by me. It was actually such a long process to come up with this design and the logo itself. I actually went through such a long and hard process of deciding what to do because I'm super indecisive and I really wanted something like easy to remember but also kind of like eye-catching so if you're wondering why i went with two hearts basically two is my favorite number and my lucky number i was born on february 2nd which is 0202 so when coming up with the merch logos and designs i knew that i always wanted something that had to do with two so i just kind of played around with different words and i thought two hearts sounded really cute and also my youtube channel name is Tarangho, which is basically a play on words if you didn't know sarang means love in korean and then 사랑해 means I love you so I just swapped out the A with an O to make it 사랑호, like a play on words and 사랑 has to do with hearts so I just thought two hearts was a really cute combination of that this is actually my first time producing like my own product so it was a really cool experience I also wanted to share this with you guys because this wasn't the first set actually I did make another design but I ended up not liking it so we had to scrap that one but I do have the samples with me right here so yeah this is the first design that I came up with so first I came up with all-nighter club i don't know this was the back and i don't know why i wasn't really satisfied with this i feel like these just look kind of dull if you guys do end up purchasing any of the products make sure to send me pictures so i can see you guys wearing them and i also wanted to say thank you to you guys because without you guys and all your support this wouldn't have been possible it's just so surreal to me that i was able to have this experience and as a way to thank you guys i'm actually going to be doing a little giveaway i'm going to be giving away a tote bag and all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel comment something down below and make sure to follow my instagram there will be five different winners so good luck to everyone if you want to purchase any of the hoodies or the tote bag you can check the link in my description box down below as well as the one on the screen so now i'm going to be doing a little chill q a because like i said earlier i feel like you guys aren't really too updated with my life and i haven't just like sat down and talked to you guys like this so i did ask you guys on my instagram to ask questions i'm gonna try to go through as many as i can how tall are you i actually got this question so many times and i am 167 centimeters which is like 5 6 i think in my previous q a video i said that i was 160 five centimeters but i didn't measure myself properly and recently i measured myself next i have how is uni so far as you guys may know i am in my first year of uni i actually just finished but i'm currently in my exam week so once i'm done my exams i'm fully done first year of university i'm gonna wear my glasses because i can't see the camera the studying and the content that i learned is definitely a lot harder than high school and for some reason ever since i started uni i started missing like high school just the little things like cafeteria lunch with my friends seeing the halls really busy but i did meet a lot of new people and make a lot of good friends so what is your korean name my korean name is sumin and my english name is tracy a lot of people mistake my name for like sarah or saram because of my youtube name and that actually brings me to this point and it's about changing my channel name but i've been wanting to change it for a really long time i just don't know what to change it to and i'm kind of scared to change it to something else because i know a lot of you guys just know me as Serang Ho and are used to that but this channel name is something that I made when I was 14 I'm now 19 and I just want something more like so I was just thinking of making my channel name my full name or if you guys have any suggestions please leave them in the comment section what k-pop groups do you stand groups that I like and stand are and hypen bts txt blackpink and twice how do you be productive and study along with socializing meeting friends etc this is definitely something that I struggle with because I'm the worst when it comes to balance but honestly my advice is that if you want to hang out with friends and if you want to have a social life don't make studying in school something that blocks out the fun in your life I mean obviously if you want good grades you do want to study but don't make studying in school so stressful and so that's just my take on things but yeah i still haven't even figured out how to balance my own life where did you get your chicken lamp from <laughs> so i'm guessing you're talking about this it's out of battery right now i have to charge it it does light up when i 
press it. I got this on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box. Current favorite K-drama. My favorite K-drama hasn't really changed. It's extracurricular. And then my other favorites are Weightlifting Fairy, Reply 1988, also Sky Castle. What will you do after university? After university, I want to travel and I want to experience living somewhere else other than Canada. Most likely New York or Korea and definitely focus a lot on YouTube. Most played song at the moment. Lately, I've been listening to Love Dive and As It Was on repeat, but I'm gonna actually check Spotify and see like my on repeat. So this is my on repeat playlist. Those are all the questions that I'm gonna be answering and the rest I'm gonna try to answer on my Instagram story. So that concludes this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, I will see you in my next video.